Hey guys, Super One here, and welcome to another video. This video, I will be teaching you how to put Chrome OS or Chromium on a USB drive, so you can then plug it into a Mac, Linux, or Windows computer and fire up Chrome OS right from your um, boot up screen. So the first thing you want to do is get a USB. This has to be at least four gigabytes, I think, and. Uh, you want to go to this website, which I will include the link in the description. I just want to point out that these Chrome OS builds um, were built by Hexa, Hex, one of those, and this website gives you detailed instructions on how to download it. All right, so first of all, um, you want to click on your OS, so mine's Mac, and then simply download the Easy Builder application for Mac to make your vanilla USB drive. Now over here you will see um, the latest builds and you and uh, if you're on Mac you need to download this this is the builder application which will build it onto a USB for you and this is the actual hardware so basically you want to click USB um, for the latest one that's come up and you want to click USB because that's what we're going to be putting it on and uh, you also want to download this now once you've downloaded this it should come up as a IMG file the uh, vanilla version, the latest build. This is the build you're going to be using to create the actual um, the actual drive. So we need this because it's not just that easy on Mac. You have to actually have to download another application to build it. So um, put in your USB drive and open up this application, and it should um, have this. Now what you want to do, click local image, um, because it's asking you to select the type, select the uh, version of Chromium that you want to put on the USB. So here we're going to click the one that's in your, that you've downloaded. You can do that by dragging it into it and it'll um, detect it, automatically select it. And then once you've selected it, you need to select your uh, memory stick or your USB. This won't come up as the name you've given it because that's just a, a like like a nickname. It'll actually come up as the um, the name that it was given when it was made in a factory. So you want to click that and click next. Now this may not work for some people and it definitely didn't work for me. Um, I clicked I clicked yes, confirm, continue what you're meant to do. And then it came up with this error. Now I was a bit confused, so I look in. I looked into it, and basically what it says was, you actually need to do something called sudo. Click quit, and you actually now you can see that your USB drive is gone. Now don't don't panic, because this is this happens when you make it like not a storable USB drive, but make it have like Chromium on it. So you want to um, erase your disk if this happens to you. If all goes well and um, everything works out, just follow the next steps. But if that happened to you and it just it said uh, disk rejected, then you have to do this. You have to um, click on your inserted uh, USB drive and you click erase and then you name it again. So I'll just name it Chromium and then you click erase. Now this will not um, take too long. Okay so once that's done um, you can close down disk utility because now you have your USB drive back and what you want to do is uh, go to terminal and you can do that by searching for it or opening it directly and now what you want to do is type in the sudo command which I will also include in the description so now that you're on terminal you have to um, go to you have to install chromium OS image creator into your applications now this step is a bit strange because people get how to do it but people don't really understand um, any th why they're doing it it's basically because you need like access to it that it's not giving you so you type in this command that I said I will include in the description and it should basically have this and you enter that and you type in your password for your computer and right now it's opening it up 
and uh, now you just um, do it as you normally would. So again, you select your um, image and you click select, and then you select your USB drive and you click it and click erase. Now this will um, well, it approximately took me 15 to 30 minutes. Um, I'm sure it'll take you probably less because this is quite an old Mac and uh, I'll meet up with you once it um, catches up. Okay guys, so it looks like the um, installment has finished and uh, it says congratulations on creating a Chrome Chromium OS Live USB to get started. Insert the USB stick into the machine you'd like to run Chromium OS on and boot it from the USB stick. Alright, so um, I'm going to go to a camera on my PC because um, for some reason Chrome OS, this specific build, build does not work um, on Mac and uh, just for demonstration purposes I'm just going to go to my PC and boot it from there. Now that we're here, um, we've put the USB in over here. You can't really see that, but the USB is in. And uh, we're going to hit start up and press F11 or F12. Alright, now I've gone into boot options. It's going to be a little bit hard for you to see that, and it'll probably hurt your eyes. But over here is the boot up screen on Windows. And uh, basically, you're going to click USB storage device. Um, just bring the camera over there and show you the uh, USB storage device and then you press enter and then it'll boot up hopefully into Chromium Chromium OS and here it is and it might look laggy and that's just because the text is like a loading bar alright so um, Chromium has booted up and given us this um, selection screen I guess and it's like a setup screen and here is very nicely laid out and so this is basically Chromium here so select your language um, select all of this stuff and and uh, basically you can customize this and I'm gonna select my network and get on with this alright now it's gonna ask me to sign into my account uh, which I will do Alright, so we're going to hit the sign in option and it's going to recognize us, hopefully, and send us to the screen where we will be able to customize our PC, Chromium. Alright, so now we choose a picture. This is just basically standard setup procedure. And here is the, um, the interface. So we can close that, open up Chrome, make it, uh, sorry about the camera, make it full screen. And uh, very nice um, transitions with Chromium. I didn't actually expect much from the OS system, but I'm not here to review this. I'm just here to show you how it's done and how to install it. So this seems to be working fine for me. If you have any problems, please leave a comment. And please like and subscribe and all that stuff. You don't have to, but if you would, it would mean quite a lot to me since I am just a new channel. Uh, on the internet. Thanks for watching. Bye.